There is a balance in nature that can easily be disrupted with the introduction of one insect that is not indigenous to a region, the spotted lanternfly. It is a serious invasive insect that is indigenous to parts of Taiwan, southern China, parts of India, and Vietnam. It has spread invasively to South Korea, Japan, and even the United States. It threatens agriculture as this insect is attracted to fruit trees and grapevines. In the U.S., it was first discovered in Berks County, Pennsylvania in 2014. Now, spread to 26 counties in Pennsylvania and even spreading to neighboring states. It continues to spread fiercely and state-imposed quarantine zones for the insect has seen little results. Or could things have been so much worse, the state-imposed quarantines weren't implemented. According to agriculture.pa.gov, the quarantine strictly prohibits the movement of any spotted lanternfly living stage, including egg masses, nymphs, and adults, and restricts the movement of articles that may harbor the insect. So, if you sell plants or anything from outside, you're inclined to follow any restrictions that is imposed by the state. Tractors, mowers, grills, plants, anything from the outdoors. Penn State Extension has been tracking the spotted lanternfly for years. If you're not in a quarantine zone, you're encouraged to call their hotline or send them an email. The lanternfly is a hopper, not much of a flyer. They mostly feed on their favorite tree, which is also an invasive species, the tree of heaven. But they have been found to feed on indigenous species of trees. In the end, this seemingly harmless insect will decimate agriculture and even forests. To help battle against this insect, kill on sight and scrape the egg sacs. Check trees for egg sacs that can look like this. Scrape them into a Ziploc bag and then pour a little bit of rubbing alcohol into the bag. Then dispose the bag. To kill the insect on sight can either crush the insect or spray with water with Dawn detergent about one teaspoon to every cup of water. I have used this soapy water method and it does work. We need to report. We also need to check the trees on our properties often, at least every weekend. It is up to us to slow the spread, if possible. We need to stop it. Please share this video so others can learn about the spotted lanternfly. The more that know, the better chance we have at succeeding.